Hello everybody and welcome to the State of the Kingdom. I'm your host, King Tim Games. Um, I know I want to do this on Saturday. I want to do a video game, two video games a week. It's kind of the, the stretch goal. At least we'll provide you two videos. Uh, I'm playing around with the new editing software. It's free and I can't get it to seem to work right. So, I mean, you get what you pay for and it pay for it. So, what do I expect, right? So, anyhow. With that being said, dang it, sorry guys, um, my videos were delayed this week and I apologize for that, uh, they were seem to be pushed back a day, I want them on Tuesdays and Thursdays, this week was Wednesday and Friday and I apologize for that, um, I don't know if I'm going to get another video up for Saturday, um, I know I will be live streaming Argus week 3. Um, you guys are going to see this on Friday, so, uh, yeah, so you guys will see that later that night on twitch.tv backslash kingtimgames. Um, the story is supposed to be shorter, so I may chop it just through Twitch itself, um, kind of upload it. We'll see. We will see. No promises on that. Um, I still got to find an editing software. You just may have to pull the trigger and buy one. So um, if you guys have any suggestions on editing software that's not too super expensive, let me know down in the comments below. But let's get into some news, guys. So the first thing that I want to talk about is YouTube drama. And I'm sure you guys have already seen plenty of videos of it. And I'm going to discuss it right here. Cutie Pie. Doing a live stream. Said... So, Drop to the N-word. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of details on it. I think everybody knows what I'm referring to. Um, he did it out of anger. Um, he was playing uh, battle Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Sorry. And he was frustrated. And he called somebody the N-word. I don't think he necessarily meant it in a racial context. But you can't say it. So, here's, here's what I get. Like, I'm not going to lie, after the big last one with the very ill-formed Hitler jokes, I was watching some of his content before. Um, I thought he was cleaning up. I thought, uh, I thought he was heading down a pretty good path. I liked the sarcasm. And I actually hit him with his, uh, subs subscription, subscribe, whatever. Little ways after it happened. Well, he's lost the sub, and I know I'm just one person, and uh, I know you guys are like, why, Tim, you know, you are such a left, and blah de blah de blah social justice warrior, whatever you want to label me as, could not be farther from the truth, but if that's what you want to label me as, label me that. Um, I just... Here's the thing, this guy um, just messed up so much stuff in his career. And I mean, he just keeps getting these passes and passes. And I mean, his content's good. But he, he, he's even admitted that he's not trying anymore. Um, and it's just, it's just sad when you don't try and you let stuff like that happen. It's just, it's just a terrible, terrible situation all around. Um, but that's that's the, with PewDiePie. This next story, guys, this impacts everybody. And I'm going to dive a little deep into it. I know you've probably seen some videos on this as well. I don't know what all you've known. But I'm going to break down some stuff for you. The Equifax data breach, guys. I'm not going to go into the numbers of uh, how many credit cards could be compromised. Um, I'm not going into any of that. I will go into uh, the stock sell. With three Equifax executives sold their shares after the discovery of the breach and before they announced it to us. So they collected a total of $1.8 million, which is not super a lot considering they're high executives. First, first and foremost, I want to let you guys know what Equifax is. Equifax, if you don't know, is one of the three major credit reporters. If you apply for a credit card, 
uh, student loan, auto loan, any loans, uh, even applying for school sometimes they do it, apartments, jobs, they all run this. Not all jobs, but you know what I mean, like, this is very likely to be ran. Utility bills, all that stuff, they run this now, and your information's on there, previous addresses, all that's in a massive database. Well, they've been hacked. So the three executives, they got the $1.8 million. Uh, so the sales were actually made on August 1st and August 2nd, which was three and four days after they discovered it. Um, you know, an Equifax spokeswo spokeswoman said that the executives were unaware of the breach at the time of the sales. But, but one was John Gamble, who is the chief financial officer. He's also the firm's number two executive. So how would he not know this happened? How do you let uh, your executives blind like this? And it's just so convenient that it was less than a week after and before they told us. Uh, just, just terrible. And so you act. Well, what can you do? Well, Equifax has their Equifax Plus, or uh, it's called the Trusted ID Premier. I think that's what it's called. That's the credit and monitoring service. Uh, yes. So you get a year free. But in order to sign up for it, you have to put your credit card in. Um, and things of that nature. Now... Sorry, guys, I'm going like 30, 30 like lines in front because I don't have a set script, and I apologize for that. So you put your credit card information, and if you don't cancel after the year, because, I mean, who would remember that you did this thing a year ago? Um, I'm going to try to uh, post something um, at the beginning of September next year if I do remember from still making content, which I'm planning on doing. Uh, just as a reminder for those who did sign up for this, who wants to cancel it. However, two issues with this. Well, actually, three issues, I believe. One, some a lot of financial experts says this isn't going to be a one-year thing. This could be a 10-year thing. Uh, it could affect you for up to 10 years, maybe a little bit longer. So one year is not really going to protect you. So you are going to have to buy this. Um, from a business standpoint, I, I understand that you are hacked. This 10 years... Something that you should give out. Yeah, I mean, you screwed it up, but... I don't know. I, I mean, they're, they're trying. But the, the, one of the other issues is... That upon signing this up, part of the agreement of paying for this is you can't sue us. So if you sign up for this free year, you, you cannot sue Equifax. Well, people was outraged about that, and Equifax has come out and said, Wait, what we're going to do is we can waive that disclaimer if you write us a letter and send it to us at this address through the Postal Service. Not a form, not an email. You got to write it, send it to the P.O. Box. It's just it's just so much that they're just trying to jam down the throats and it's just, just terrible. Um, and I think that's, that's pretty much it. I don't really see a whole lot more that I want to discuss. Um, I know they handle some Canadian and European stuff as well. So if you have anything with Equal Facts and you're watching this and you're from Canada or England, you are impacted as well. Uh, not nearly as many as the United States. That's pretty much everybody in the United States. That's insane. Uh, my credit shot, so they're not going to get anything out of me. I mean, they're going to know where I live. Um, whatever we, we can take. So that's that's it with the news, guys. Let's get back into the channel, the uh, state of the channel, guys. So I want to wrap this up, try to make this as quick as possible. Um, I know I've been playing um, a lot of WoW, um, stuff like that. Um, that stuff's going to be kind of um, off stream, off video content here for a little bit. Um, I still may twinkle it in maybe once a week. Um, we'll, we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, it might be my live stream um, on Friday nights. I'm not sure yet on how I'm handling WoW. 
Um, but Sunday night speed runs I do believe are coming back, guys. So um, if that's something that you guys were interested in and you liked it, um, I think I'm going to keep it on Sunday nights. So look out for that. Um, that won't be this Sunday coming up. I think it will start next Sunday. Um, Destiny 2, you'll have see a lot of content, I think, in Destiny 2 on this channel. Probably some WoW. Uh, just some stuff like that, guys. Um, I think that's going to pretty much cover it. I know I've got some Destiny 2 content coming up. I want to do some Crash Bandicoot. I want to do some Kingdom Hearts. Uh, do some World of Warcraft content for you. Um, just, just a lot of stuff that I've got going on right now, guys. I want to bring to this channel. Very limited time to do it. Um, that's very really unfortunate. But, I'm going to call it, guys. Um, it's super late. Um, I normally record and edit. That's not happening. This is a recording pretty much live. It's going to be uploaded to YouTube soon as I'm done. And I am going to go to bed. It is actually currently like 2 o'clock in the morning right now. And I will be up in 4 hours. So with that being said guys. I'm going to wrap it up to you guys. I do appreciate it. If you guys like the content. Make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you didn't give me a thumbs down. If you want to see more content like this. Or. Um, it's just in some of my gaming content. Like you want to watch some Destiny. World of Warcraft. Uh, anything that I've mentioned in this video. Make sure to hit that sub button. Uh, that'll also will help you out as well if people let uh, YouTube know that you're into this kind of content so you will see more in your recommendations for that if you want to come hang out with me live on Twitch make sure to follow me over there it's twitch.tv backslash King Tim Games I will be on Twitter guys and I try to do updates on Twitter as much as possible I've been slacking a little bit on that but I want to get back on that guys uh, Twitter's a great resource that I communicate with everybody. I want to get back on the Twitter and Discord, guys. All those links are going to be right down below. But uh, if you guys don't want to do that, you can come on back, hang out, and uh, hopefully enjoy your stay. Until next time, guys. Dude.